In The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, your horse Roach is the main source of transport. Whilst Roach can just be used from getting from point A to point B, you can also partake in activities such as horse races. In these horse races, you could be awarded coin or you could even be awarded some new equipment for your horse. And this equipment can actually be really, really good. This could allow for a much better experience when traveling with your horse. So this video is going to be a complete guide to horse racing in The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. But just before we do get into all of that, please be sure to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any content just like this. Are you interested in starting your very own Discord server, but you just simply don't know where to start? Well, I've got you covered. I've been using Discord daily for many, many years now, and in that time I've created and managed many servers, some of which have achieved over 5,000 active members. I've worked with YouTubers with over 150,000 subscribers and even cryptocurrency organizations. So whatever the server may be, I can confidently say that I'll be able to create and even manage an active server for your community. These servers will include really popular features and a very professional design. And if you want the best of the best, I can even throw in your very own custom Discord bot. So if you are interested in getting started or have any questions, then hit the link in description or the pinned comment that will take you straight to my Fiverr page. It is worth noting a lot of the things said in this video will be taking off of the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt wiki, but I will be sort of scaling it down and putting it into a video format, if that makes sense. So to start things off, let's go over what horse racing is and what it involves in the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. In the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt and its expansions, horse racing is an activity in which Geralt may partake along with his horse Roach. In general, a horse race will have a quest associated with it, in which Geralt must place a bet with a bookmaker. If Geralt loses a race, the amount bet on it will be lost, and in some cases the associated quest or quest objective may even fail. Conversely, if Geralt wins a race, he will receive an amount of crowns which is double that of the bet. In some races, horse equipment prizes may be on offer, which Geralt can use to raise Roach's stamina, maximum fear level, or his own carrying capacity. So there you go, that's sort of a brief overview of horse racing in The Witcher 3. It goes over what you will get if you win a race, which could be horse equipment, which is, I'd say, the best part of winning the race. I think the horse equipment is very, very good, considering this can actually be very expensive and you get it for completely free. And of course, you can get an extra bit of crowns on the side, which is nice as well. I do suggest putting the maximum amount of crowns since I think it is highly likely you will win the race. Now, a lot of these are secondary quests, so I will run through the locations in which you can find these horse races. There is one in Novigrad, one in Velen, and then four in Skellige. Now, it is worth noting that for some of these quests, you will need to have the expansions. This just being the Hearts of Stone, you will not need the Blood and Wine for any of the horse races. So now we've gone over what these horse races involve and where you can find them. And like I did say, these are secondary quests. For some of these quests, you will need to complete one of the previous horse races in order to unlock the next horse race, if that makes sense. So, for example, you win a race against one character, and then you will get a new quest unlocked in which you'll go to a new location and race against another character. And in all of these quests, you'll be unlocking new horse equipment, such as saddles, and you'll be able to get some extra crown on the side as well. But to be able to do that, you are going to need to win these horse races, which is definitely, definitely doable, and I'm going to run over the best way to do so. First of all, let's talk about managing stamina. Now, I found a great way that explains this on a website called Game8.co, and I will put a link to this in the description below, and I will read out what they have said about managing stamina. It is also important to manage your stamina properly to secure victories. Running out of horse stamina is the worst thing that could happen during a race. One of the, once the horse runs out, you will not be able to sprint for a few seconds, which will make you a lot slower. Slow down during turns and use this moment to recover a portion of your horse stamina. Doing this technique will give you enough stamina to finish the race without completely depleting the stamina bar. Now, this basically explains it in the perfect way, probably better than I could, to be honest. But basically, you want to be making sure that on those turns, in the big turns on the race, you stop sprinting, and this allows for your horse to be able to recover a bit, and you'll be able to gain back some stamina. The stamina bar is really clearly displayed at the bottom of the screen, so you will be able to easily know how much stamina you're on. Now, a method that I sometimes use is trying to block off the opponents. This might not be a method you want to use, since I'm not sure how legit it is, really. But you can sort of use your horse to stop the opponents from getting past you, which allows you to be able to not sprint and allows time for your horse to recover stamina. And especially near the end of the race, you want to make sure that you are able to sprint with your horse, as this allows for you to get 
right to the end since that's around the time when the opponents will start to lose their stamina since they aren't the best at managing their stamina that's for sure so it really is crucial to make sure that throughout the race you have the option to be able to sprint say if an opponent gets past you but just remember that you don't always need to be in first place you can sit back in second for a bit allowing for your stamina to regenerate and then also allows for the opponent's stamina to deplete and then you are able to near the end of the race overtake that opponent so yeah managing stamina is definitely something you want to focus on when it comes to winning these horse races next up we'll be looking at knowing the route now this is actually one that might go underlooked a bit you might think well i've got a waypoint in the mini map so it's going to be really clear where i have to go and some of the time it actually isn't you don't really have a set waypoint sometimes it's just a checkpoint in which you have to go to so the path might not be extremely clear so there are a few flags and everything around some of the corners but i have gone a lot of races where the first time i play the race i miss a turn and then i'm just stuck in last so once again let's have a look at what that website has said some horse races have confusing tracks which may cause you to get lost during the race costing you more time to reach the finish line Try to learn the route and observe the terrain before getting into a race. So something you might want to do is look at a YouTube video of gameplay of that specific mission and then you'll be able to know the track instantly. Or if you wanted to do it within the game, you could ride around that area and see some of the nearby paths. This might take a bit longer, but it allows you to be able to know the route and sort of allows you to know the terrain and where the steep parts are. So I would definitely just have a little bit of knowledge about the surrounding areas before entering the race as this means that you won't be stuck in last if you take a wrong turn or at least you are less likely to take a wrong turn but you could always restart the race if needed so the last technique we'll look at which you should be using within the race is sprinting sprinting is the most important technique you must learn in horseback riding it allows you to move faster to outrun your opponents during the race you can easily do this by double tapping and holding the sprint button whilst moving forward this being x on playstation a on xbox a on nintendo switch and usually shift on pc this does link closely with the stamina and managing the stamina since sprinting is what will significantly deplete your stamina so it's crucial that you make sure you choose the right areas in order to sprint usually if you have a straight path and you're able to just clearly go in one straight direction for a longer period of time that is the best opportunity to sprint and also near the end of the race when your opponents likely don't have as much stamina as you providing you have managed it well throughout the race so it's definitely important finding the right times to sprint within the race. So the last thing we will look at is using the correct equipment on your horse. Now your horse fear level shouldn't really have much of an impact in this race since it's unlikely that there'll be anything that will cause your horse to get scared. The same goes for having a high capacity of storage on your horse since that's just really not going to play a part in the race at all. But obviously by winning the race there are good chances that those will be able to be upgraded with better equipment. But we will be focusing on the saddle since that is what will play a part in the race. You want to make sure that before each race you go into your inventory and make sure that you have the best saddle equipped. Now the best saddle will be the one that has the highest amount of stamina. This could range from anything like 35 to 70. So the higher the number next to the stamina, then the longer it will take for your stamina to fully deplete, allowing for you having a much better chance to win the game. So definitely make sure you have the best saddle equipped in order to have the highest amount of stamina available. So there you go. If you take all of that into account, you should be able to get to these horse races, know what you're doing and win them easily, resulting in a high amount of crown and some really, really nice horse equipment. If you did enjoy this video, then please be sure to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss any content just like this and i'd love to hear your thoughts on all of these tips down in the comments and if you have any other advice i'll be sure to look at it all and if you are interested in setting up your very own discord server then check the link in the description and the pinned comment so i'll see you in the next one peace